up guys, it's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Black walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we went through the first side quest, you know, started surfing around, getting some items that we, you know, we probably should have gotten and all that stuff. Went into the Wellspring Cave and explored that area right there, which is good because, you know, we won't be doing that later on in our adventure. I mean, never really did that in the last two walkthroughs, the two black walkthroughs and all that crap. Anywho, and then we ended up the we ended the episode with me talking about uh, one taco story, and it got me to it got me thinking maybe I should talk about another taco story another another taco story I should say. How did I start with uh, talking about tacos? Well, I think there was a person in there in the Wellspring Cave that said that he does love uh, eating contests and all that stuff, and I kind of felt like it was a challenge to me. And then I started talking about uh, my uh, my taco slash poop story and all that stuff. So, I'm gonna give you another taco story here, but let's go right ahead and take a look at what we're looking, or what we're trying to find right here. Now, as you can see, we can actually surf right here, and we're gonna be grabbing this item, and uh, we will be finding a full heal right here. Now, mind you, that I have, like, I've never really actually, I never actually did this. Never actually surfed around this area uh, in the off, in the off game or anything like that. So, this is all new to me. As you can see, we're looking at new spots right here. And, uh, we could actually find some extra cool Pokemon right here. Now, there's a guy right there waiting for us. He's probably a Pokemon breeder, so we're probably going to be battling. Let's go right ahead and switch out. Uh, let's go with, uh, Gigalith right here. Give it a little bit of, uh, of revenge right here. So, look at this guy. Check out how much my Pokemon have grown up. That's good. Okay, so here we go. Pokemon breeder Galen, or Galen. Or, I don't know how you pronounce your name. I don't want to get it wrong because, you know, you know me. I like to butcher names all the time. He's coming out with this Simi Sage, level 32. It's a pretty good Pokemon. It'd be a shame if I, uh, if I actually beat it with a, a good typing right here. So let's go. Let's get this. We're going to be going with Air Cutter right here. And we're going to be destroying. Oh, yes. Look at that. Destructo Disc and all that stuff. But here comes Simi Sage with a good uh, Fury Swipe attack. So, let's go ahead and talk about another taco story. So yesterday, or I don't know when I will ever post this out, this video out. So, the last episode I talked about how I spent about nearly 24 hours without pooping after eating 23 tacos and one big ass quesadilla. And how I lasted about a full hour inside... Uh, a full hour inside the restroom. How did I know? Watching WWE Extreme Rules and all that stuff. Uh, this one right here happens to be a story about me and my friends. Well, we are. It always it always ends up with the with the story of my friends right there. So uh, this was back in 2016. Now, if you guys remember, back when I was driving XC711, I was going through a bunch of hiatuses and all that stuff. One being. I accidentally, well, I broke my ankle playing football and all that stuff, so, of course, that, that, that brought me down quite a bit. Now, this was right around the time Pokemon Go came out. So we were all into that, and I was actually doing that too. And I was also recovering from, yeah, I was also recovering from my injury and all that stuff. Now, it literally took me one full, one full month to actually recover from a broken ankle. Yeah, trust me guys, I was more amazed myself because you know normally broken broken bones take about quite a few months to actually recover or to heal and all that stuff but the doctor looked at my x-rays cocked his eye or cocked his head and then after that he was like son you you, you just recovered now he could have set me off in a in a boot in a you know one of them soft ass boots that you know they, they usually wear but of course my insurance didn't cover that so that right there was bad Hold on just a sec. You are great. This is a present for you. Get ourselves a Lumberry. Okay, a Lumberry now. Thank you very much. Okay, so what do we have right here? Found ourselves an HP up. If you guys are wondering what I'm doing with uh, the vitamins, I'm actually selling them for extra money right there. Remember, if you sell the vitamins, they they actually go for 4,900 Poke Dollars right here. So, you know, it's a it's a, it's a it's a good deal. It's close to a uh, nugget that you'll ever get. And I'm actually going to be going right here. Alright, so let's see what we can find right here. Actually, I think we can go right here. Hold on. There might be a hidden item right around here somewhere. No. 
Let's see. I think, okay, so we already battled everybody right here. So we're going to be going into Nat Green City. And uh, if you guys remember, I actually got myself a fossil. So that's exactly what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to try and revive this fossil right here. Let's see. Let's go... And where can you find this place? You can actually go straight up to the museum. There's a hidden item here. Okay. I'll be... I'll be doing that right now. Okay, so if you go to this guy right here, he's researching Pokemon fossils. You have a fossil, don't you? Shall I turn it back into a Pokemon? Yes, you should. I got the plume fossil. And... You know, Hocus Pocus, right there, he revives his po uh, the fossil, and I get myself an Arcan. And my party's full, so I just uh, so come pick it up when I can. Okay, so I'm going to be going straight to my PC to actually uh, get the Pokemon. And you know what? First, let me go ahead and find a... Uh, yeah, there's a hidden item right here somewhere. Actually, it's right over there. Hold on. Right here. Oh, there you are. Okay, so let's... So I'm on top of it. There we go, we found ourselves an Ultra Ball. Probably should have found it. Anywho, uh, like I was saying, uh, yeah, so I healed in a month. Doctor, uh, well, the, my insurance couldn't cover a regular black boot, you know, one of them softest ones. So instead, he puts me in a cast for safe measure. That way, you know, like, you know, the x-rays don't make, don't make the mistake of, you know, like, me saying, or it's saying that, you know, okay, well, it's healed, so he can walk perfectly and all that crud. And uh, yeah, he put me in a in a in a in a, uh, in a what you call it in a uh, what you call it in a cast. So after that, he gave me he gave or the doctor gave me permission to actually work out properly. You know, go in, work out, put a little force on my feet, that kind of stuff. And then after that, you know, uh, after being off painkillers and after being you know after, uh, being active for the first time in like a month, you start getting a lot like a lot more hungrier, like really really hungry. Like, oh my god, stupid hunger. Like, a little bit worse than what I, than the, the, the show, well, my story from the last one, okay? Now, if you go right here, let's see. Yes, he's got my Arkin. So, there it is. Got myself my Arkin. Okay, and, uh, well, let me, uh, let me, let me give it a nickname. Let me give it a nickname right here. Let's see, Arkin. Looks like a, let's see. Okay, so it looks like a chicken to me. I'm gonna call it this. El... El... Diablo. <laughs> or Fighting Chicken. For, for short. If you guys never watched uh, Talladega Nights, that's a... I think it was Ricky Bobby who called himself at, after, at the very end. He's like, nope. I'm gonna be calling myself El Diablo. I think it means fighting a uh, death chicken or fighting chicken or something. Or devil chicken or something. So that's what I'm gonna be calling you, El Diablo. After Ricky Bobby or or uh, what you call Will Ferrell's character. <laughs> Alrighty, so there we go, El Diablo, and let's go ahead and take a look at this Pokemon right here. Now this is a creative one. Don't judge me, guys. So here it is. Uh, we got ourselves Arkin, both a flying and rock type Pokemon at level 25, and it has a serious nature. So that's a pretty good one. And its physical attack, it's pretty up there, as well as as well as its speed. And as you can see, it does have pluck, ancient power, agility, and quick guard. And its ability is the Fetus. Lowers stats when HP becomes half or or less. So I'm assuming that that like it lowers the other Pokemon stats or something. It could be mine. Now, originally I wanted Arkin for my team. I really did. I mean, I had my eye on him for quite some time. Yeah, it just uh, yeah, it didn't make any sense. It really didn't make any sense because I already had a Pokemon that knows uh, any well that can learn Rock type moves. So there was no point in me having a Flying slash Rock type Pokemon. But, you know, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't take away the fact that I can, I can still give it a nickname. Plus, I needed a Psychic-type Pokemon, and what better Pokemon to actually have than, you know, Sigilyph, who is both a Psychic and Flying-type Pokemon, so it's a very good Pokemon combination right there. I don't think we have, we've ever seen that combination before, not just yet. Anywho, now let's go back to the story right here. So now, I became really, really hungry. Super hungry. Now, this is close to my birthday. And my buddies were all telling me that, hey, you know, well, they they gave me a call. This is how cool they are. 
They gave me a call and they're like, hey, we need a, we need to have an, or they're challenging me to an eating contest. And, uh, wow, we didn't battle these guys right here. Completely forgot about these guys. Screw it, let's go ahead and battle these guys. So, yeah, like, uh, they called me up and they're like, hey, Draven, it's like, we're, like, uh, your birthday's coming up. We're challenging you to a, uh, a taco eating contest. We have it down to a T, we can beat you, yada, yada, yada. Loser gets to pay for the for the for the winner's uh, dinner and all that stuff. Now, when they said that, I was actually happy about it because it was like, man, it's been a while since I've had a taco here and there. Yeah, it, it's been a while, and I'm glad that they called too because it was like, you know, at the time too, I was a little depressed with the whole broken ankle thing. My ego was a, uh, my ego was down and all that crud. Yeah, I, I was kind of I was kind of like a moping around, but then when they said tacos, I was like, you had me at tacos. And they said, well, they 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 wanted to challenge me, so I was like, I warned them, I told them this. I was like, okay, you guys gotta understand something. You have to understand something, okay? You got, watch what you say, because I'm warning you right now, you won't win. And they're like, why? Well, there's, I got two things going for me. I'm allowed to work out, so I've been working out like crazy. So I've been coming, I've been getting very, 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 very hungry. And two. I'm off my pay meds, so my hunger, my hunger is coming back even worse than what it was, uh, it, what it was before I broke his ankle and all that stuff. They didn't believe me. Long story short, we went into my birthday, and uh, we just started to, you know, we we, we ordered our, our tacos right here. I ordered at least 20 tacos. No joke, guys. I ate, I ordered 20 tacos. And my buddies were like, okay, we're, we're just going to buy, we're just going to keep on getting more tacos while we're at it. You know, we're going to get 15 and and work our way up there. If we can get more, then we could buy more. Like, we could order more and all that crap, too. That was their plan. But I, I straight up just went 20 tacos because I, I told myself, there's no way these guys are going to beat me. They're, they're not going to eat past 15 tacos. So I got my 20s. And to make things, uh, make things worse, I got two quesadillas instead of one. And... Uh, as soon as we started getting our tacos, my buddies did the major mistake by putting their their sauces on first. One thing I don't do, I don't I don't put too many uh, hot sauce on there because eventually you're gonna <laughs> eventually you're gonna just hurt. Let's see what this person is. I run every day. My goal is to be a marathon champion. Okay. Did we battle anybody right here? Let's see. Have you heard of uh, Phyton Sides? Don't understand. Phyton side. Did I say that right? I don't even know. Okay, let's see. Okay, so we, we're gonna be battling more people right here while I'm talking about my taco stories. So yeah, as they were putting their sauces in, like I got a buddy here who likes to put different kinds of sauces in every single one of his tacos. He likes to blend them in. And then I got another buddy here who likes to put like everything on there, from like you know cilantro. You know, uh, whatchamacallit, lemon, everything. He likes to put that. He likes to decorate his, his shit. Me, I just straight up just put lemon, sauce, and that's it. Bam. Go straight for it. If there's cilantro, let's get some. So that's what I did. I just started doing that, and I was t I was pacing myself, and I was eating every single one of my tacos. Before you knew it, I was done with my tacos, and I was already started on my, uh, on my quesadillas. And then after that, my quesadillas were done. I was wondering, where the hell did all the food go? Even I was surprised by eating all this food and not 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 feeling like heavy and all that stuff. And by the time everything was done, I had my buddy right here. He was just looking at me. He was like, "Where the hell is all your food?" I was like, "I ate it all." And they were just looking at me. And then they were like at their tenth taco, tenth taco, no joke, tenth taco. And they couldn't even they they, they couldn't even go past uh, twelve. True story right there. So after the twelfth taco. I started looking at my buddy here, who started adding, or who was adding a lot of hot sauce onto his, uh, onto his tacos. He started sweating just a little bit because, you know, he, I think he added a little too much hot, hot sauce onto his stuff. And my buddy on the other side, who likes to decorate the tacos, he was just, uh, well, you know, he, he, he just like looked at, he looked at me and he looked at my friend and he's just like, he, he's like, oh god, he's in for something really, really bad. And <laughs> what ended up happening was that. A buddy who added a little too much tacos, or a little too much sauce onto his tacos, 
kind of exploded at the restaurant right there. We spent about a good 30 minutes waiting for him because he may have added a little too much uh, sauce onto his stuff. Now, let's go back to the video right here. Now, as you can see right here, this right here is actually where you can actually find one of the legendary Pokemon. As you can see, there are stones blocking the way to him. The only way we can get them is if we capture its uh, other two legendary counterparts. But right now, two uh, stones right there, can't go. We're not worthy. It's like Mjolnir. We, we cannot go there. And uh, let's see. Before anything, yeah, there's no, no hidden items right here. So yeah, we're not worthy right now. Eventually, we're going to go back to them and we're going to try and capture them. And uh, let's see. We're just going to be looking at this area, seeing if we can actually find some hidden items. Nope. But I think we've already gotten all of it. There's a hidden item close by right here. Let's see. Oh, look, look. We can actually find something right here. We found ourselves a TM-22 Solar Beam. Awesome. And, uh, let's see. We gotta, we gotta use it. We gotta use this. We gotta use this. Super Repel right here. Okay, so... To make matters worse... Okay, so, Karma is a bitch, guys. Karma is a bitch. We were... My friend, who was decorating all his tacos... He was, you know, he he, he was uh, making fun of my, my buddy here because he he had a really bad episode in the in the restroom, really really bad episode. He was burning, you know, that whole the whole drama and all that stuff. Remember, guys, karma is a bitch. Murphy's law is real. You don't want to make fun of somebody uh, <laughs> just out of nowhere and all that crud. Now let's see what we can do right here. Hold on, can we go under the? Oh yeah, we could go under here. Holy crud! Look at that. Okay, so we're looking for some stuff right here. Okay, so. Look at that. Found ourselves a silver powder, which will actually power up our insect Pokemon right here. And uh, let's see. This area right here. What, did, what? Okay, so this right here, I think we've already been here before. Yeah, this is where we got Grass Knot. So that's, uh, that, that's already been covered. And this is where we actually defeated Team Plasma in the beginning. Okay, so I think we're done with the, this area right here. And, uh, well, we're going to go back to the taco story. So yeah, my buddy was making fun of him, and uh, you know I kept on telling him, "Hey man, uh, not cool, man. Like, like imagine if you, if that would have been you. Imagine if that would have been you pooping out a uh, fiery or a flame out of your, you know what?" He was like, "I don't care, man. That's just fucking hilarious." So we decided to go to the university close by to walk it off and play some Pokemon Go. You know, when Pokemon Go was uh, like the rage and all that stuff. Uh, we were capturing Pokemon left and right. Turns out that in every single university, because there's like, well, there's a major university at where, where I live at, and in a few city colleges around, it turns out that there's a lot of uh, Poke Shops around that area. So we're capturing Pokemon left and right, and all of a sudden we start hearing like a really, really nasty sound coming from the stomach of the guy or my buddy who was decorating all his tacos. Homeboy right here was, uh, you know, he was starting to feel it. He was feeling the effects of the tacos that he was eating. And we were telling him, man, hey, if you need to go, there's restrooms right here. Now, this guy right here, he's more of the fastidious type. He is the type of guy that just, uh, he needs to be in his own restroom to feel comfortable. He won't go to a rest, uh, he won't go to a restroom that has been sanitized, clean, or anything, including a university's, uh, uh, restroom and all that stuff. So he was telling us, no, 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 I'll just wait until we go home. Problem was, he still needed to go pick up his, uh, his girlfriend, who was, I would have to say, three miles, three, four miles away from where we were. So he was kind of screwed. And we were telling him, hey, man, you need to go, you need to go. He, uh, of course, he didn't, he, he wasn't listening, he, he wasn't budging, because, again, he's a fastidious type, he doesn't want to, uh, he doesn't want to actually, uh, go to the restroom where other people's been. I mean, ironically enough, that's his own house's restroom and all that stuff. So, the noise started getting worse and worse, and it was to the point where, like, now, you, you could see the look on his eyes, you could see his appearance, he was sweating. He was sweating because he knew he was hurting. He just wouldn't go to the restroom, so now he had a choice to make. Either he can go to his his girlfriend's at work on time and pick her up and let her be happy, or he can, you know, I don't know. He he can, uh, you know, he can uh, just uh, just fight it out and go home, like go home and, and and poop in peace, and then get yelled at later on in the night. Well, he picked he picked the other thing. Yeah, 
Instead, we went back to the house, and we were rushing to the house. And he was just like, you know, he was like telling us to hurry up, hurry up. But there was cars along the way, and it it kind of felt like these cars were like, uh, kind of felt like these cars were, or what you call it, <laughs> were going slow on purpose because they knew exactly what he was feeling. They just wanted to be assholes about it. And my buddy was just suffering. As soon as we got to the house. He jumped out of the, re the the house real quick, pushed us aside, opened the opened the opened the door, and me and my other buddy right here we, we were inside the we were inside our uh, inside the car until we heard oh no, we were hearing oh no oh no, like multiple times. We rushed into the house and unfortunately, homie here accidentally dropped one on his girlfriend's new carpet. So. He kind of he kind of missed right there, and uh, what ended up happening was that we picked up his girlfriend. We didn't say anything, and as soon as they got inside the house, mm -mm, it wasn't pretty. Two weeks later, I get blamed for this whole event because apparently he got to sleep on the couch while she, you know, was still mad at him for ruining her uh, her her carpet and all that stuff. Yeah, he was blaming me for something that he challenged me for. So it was a <laughs> yeah. Draven always does something stupid, or he, he always gets gets blamed. That's that, that's the thing right there. So that's another poop story for the day right there. Another poop slash taco. And how do I get that item right there? I don't know. Okay, side quest right here. Let's go ahead and grab that item. As you probably already know, I've already gra grabbed a, a, quite a few items. Found a, a mysterious location for a certain legendary Pokemon, which we will get back to. And uh, let's see, what is next? Yes, we're going to be... I think we're going to stop at Drip Vale City. That way we can continue on our side quest because we're going to be close by another cave right there in which we will be finding a legendary Pokemon and uh, we will research extensively and crap it is snowing right here. So yeah, that is, a, that, that is another taco story for the day right there. And today on another taco story with Draven, his friend accidentally shards himself inside his, well, on his girlfriend's uh, new carpet. <laughs> So if you're listening to this, uh, if you're listening to this video, I don't care if you're mad at me. You deserved it. <laughs> so as you can see right here, look at that. We found ourselves a water stone, and there's a wow, holy crud! I haven't seen this one right here, and uh, we're gonna be okay. So let's go ahead and serve some more. Kind of want to take care of everything. Want to see some some more stuff around here. Let's see. Okay, so there there we're getting. Uh, I think we're getting pelted by hail. I think in like a, in Unova, hail and snow are, are kind of different. And uh, yeah, look at that. We're gonna be finding ourselves a male frillish right now. A male frillish. Okay. All right. So let's see. Uh, let's go with the grass knot. Hopefully, uh, I might faint. I might faint. No. Yep. It faint. I was gonna capture this Pokemon right here. Yeah. Okay, so let's go right ahead and use a repel and see what we can find right here. Just so we can end our episode in a, on a high note. Let's see. With the exception of the whole poop story and all that stuff. So, karma is real, guys. So, again, don't make fun of your friends for their, you know, uh, don't make fun of their friends because karma will come back and bite you in the ass, literally. And let's see, hanging around, surf. He, okay, so he doesn't notice that I have the HMO3. I could have given it to him. Okay, so that is pretty much it for this episode, guys. In the next one, we're going to be going... In the next episode, we're going to try and see if we can actually find some legendary Pokemon or something. We're going to go to a cave somewhere far, far away. You know, that kind of stuff. So I uh, will see you guys in the next episode, hopefully with another taco story if you guys enjoyed it. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.